Hi guys, so uh, today I came back from work and I got a phone call from uh, Amazon, no not a phone call, a text from Amazon saying that I had a package come through. Now what would this package be? Well I don't know, uh, well obviously I do know because I'm the one that ordered it and if you're watching this video now then obviously you'll know what, the, what it is. It's a Blue Yeti microphone. So I'm going to be doing an unboxing right now and I have it right here on my bed so we're going to be sort of like you know going through it now and you're going to see me unbox it, it's going to be so cool. Yeah, let's do this. Okay, so here it is. There's the the thing. Obviously, you know, I've like blurred out my address and stuff. So you know, no, it's United Kingdom to Ben. Uh, that's pretty much it, lol. So yeah, um, basically, watch me unbox it. So I'm gonna. I don't know. I've got my tripod set up, but do I do I want to do it? I'm not gonna have to do one-handed. I get my scalpel. Here it is. Oh, some other stuff. What's this? Gray's box. Ooh, fiber. <laughs> cool. Okay. Well, I, I guess I've got some free Gray's boxes, but and, and I don't really need that. They sell like hazelnuts and stuff. I just buy my own hazelnuts. Cool. So, all right. This is interesting. This is a bit of a different way of doing things. Usually, I'm used to like getting an invoice through, but. Uh, there wasn't really anything in there. So okay, so Yeti. Um, yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. Okay. So all right, what I'm gonna do is then I'm gonna switch this camera to the um, fuck uh, to the tripod, and then you can see me unbox it on my bed. All right. So okay, enjoy. Okay, so here it is. This is the blue Yeti. So let's just unbox this. It looks like it's already been opened. Uh, I'm not sure if I should be worried about that or not. Usually, I think these things are like security protected, but obviously, if it's from a warehouse, it'd be a little bit different. Hopefully, this will be you know all in order, you know, no biggie or anything like that. It's really, really heavy as well. This is one thing that I've heard about the A. Obviously, it's going to be in like some packaging, but for the most part, it's really, really heavy. So I imagine it's actually going to be quite substantial. I didn't realise. It's going to be this big, even though I've been on oh, hell. the internet. Yeah. Okay, yeah, so that's an empty box. Um, yeah, even though I've been on the internet and I've had a lot of people. Oh, okay, all right. Yeah, yeah, it is kind of sealed. So that's kind of cool. Right, let's open this up. It's all groovy. All right, yeah, I've had a lot of people just say, like, you know, this is super heavy. Okay, so that's a um, mini USB to USB. I think that's about three meters long, so this should come standard. So as you can see, like this is what's inside the Yeti case. So you got your uh, your USB to mini USB, so that's all good, and that's about three meters long. So you've got plenty of room from like where you, where your setup is to plugging into your, like your uh, PC. And then you've got a Yeti. Uh, I think this is like a troubleshooter's kit. Congratulations on your purchase of the Yeti, the most advanced and versatile multi-pattern USB microphone. Roaming the wild today. Uh, the Yeti is the ultimate tool for creating amazing recordings. Uh, uh, an innovative triple capsule array. Um, um, mute buttons, lights, capsules, all, all that good stuff. I'll, I'll read that at some other point. You know, I'm sure you can go on the website and find... Oh, jeez, man, that's heavy. Okay, so, yeah... <laughs> This is basically the entire microphone in here. Okay, that was like the bottom, so this would be the stand. And it's quality control passed, so that's that's good to know. So let's... Okay. Fucking open. There we go. Alright, so here we go guys. This is the Blue Yeti. This is huge. Dude, this is incre... Like, look at this. This is incredibly big. I'm surprised. I didn't realize it was going to be this big. Okay. You know what? Actually, I was kind of a bit worried about this because um, a lot of people said, like, you know, these switches and stuff feel a bit tacky or they, they, they feel kind of cheap. Honestly, I can I can live with this. this. This feels like, you know, smooth, but not cheap smooth. More like greased, you know, like oiled up, really, really sexy, you know, like, 
again. There's your adapter. So it'll be, you know, 3.8 or whatever. And obviously, um, I imagine you could make that easier to get into. You just have to pick that thing out. So, you know, that should be fine. That's just like a plug. And uh, yeah, there's your headphone slot. So this is basically the Yeti. Um, there's nothing really else to it, you know? It sort of sits like there. And yeah, it kind of works. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to switch to the rest of this recording and I'll just, I don't know, talk about my day or something like that while using the Yeti. Um, and I might also make some comments about how good it is. Yeah, so basically, enjoy I guess. And yeah, thanks. Thanks for watching as well. If you've watched it this far, then that's fantastic. That'll be, you know, super cool. Um, and uh, I'll do a either a follow-up vid or I'll just sort of like, you know, post it onto the end of this video um, my thoughts about the Yeti while speaking with the Yeti how easy it is to set up um, what all the additional features do and what the best feature seems to be for it so yeah, thanks very much for watching and goodbye uh, remember to like, comment if you want to talk about the Yeti or anything like that uh, share as well if you've got any friends that are like, you know, should I buy the Yeti, should I not buy the Yeti, should I get something else this might help. Cool, thanks for watching. Bye. Okay, so now I've moved away from the, using the camera mic, which is solid directional and perhaps a media quality, to that of the Yeti. And I think you'll agree the Yeti sounds way more awesome. It's clear, it's smooth, and due to the game setting, it doesn't sound too loud or crackly. Uh, do be aware that I am super ill right now, so uh, I might heave and like cough, sneeze, and maybe cry because I'm in so much pain. Um, now what you're seeing right now is the Yeti straight from the box. I was silly enough to not bother buying a spider boom arm, uh, a shock mount, or a pop screen um, because I really wanted to just get to grips with the actual mic. So this is totally stock. There's going to be no fiddling with the raw sound going in. I may even not bother with any audio editing, just my standard set as an audacity. <clears throat> anyway, that's enough of me rambling uh, more of the actual Yeti. So Blue Helpful enough to include this instruction manual. Um, with the mic as you've probably seen earlier when I was unboxing it. Now the first page is uh, just a sort of like congratulations um, and what the Yeti is. So that's kind of a nice touch. You know, second page is sort of getting to know the Yeti which is really helpful. So this includes things like uh, the components that the Yeti has, like the triple capsule array, multiple pattern direction, what those things are, uh, what the knobs and dials do, and I'll explain them all. So the next few pages uh, explains on how to set your EA up and makes um, make it the de default recording device. So Blue have shown a nice level of inclusivity for a range of how to set up on Windows XP. Uh, you should just be able to see... No, fuck, where is it? There you go, Windows XP, uh, all the way up to Windows 8 and even uh, Apple Mac, you know, the OS X, which is 10.4.11 um, or higher. So that's kind of cool. Uh, it also explains like you know what you can do with the Yeti, which is just a general basic sort of. Oh hey man, you can kind of do this. You know if it sounds good, it's fine. So <clears throat> uh, then the book moves on to the different uh, recording notes uh, glance. So as you can see there, you've got like there's stereo on this one, and then that's cardioid, omnidirectional, and uh, bidirectional. Um, and uh, at the moment I'm on cardioid because it's just one direction, it's great for recording single people. Stereo is more general, bi-directional is front and back, so uh, it's great for shared vocals or interviews and stuff like that. Sounds at the sides do get terminated, so they don't get picked up at all. So that's, you know, that's, that's kind of helpful for like doing interviews. And then the last one is omnidirectional, which is great for a room full of people with like a conversation. Good for like atmospherics or ambience, uh, or for a group of musicians, and there's also some helpful pictures. Um, which kind of like give it a nice bit of character. So if you'll just have a look. So there's uh, vocals on stereo. And then you've got this one, which is uh, ensemble choir or ensemble choir. And then there's also instruments there, which is cool. Voiceovers, uh, podcasts. So yeah, really, really awesome. Okay, so now um, uh, it has another four sort of like pages, which just show like, you know, sound settings. So it goes into a description of what stereo is on that one what cardioid is on that one and really goes into depth with them so that's really really helpful as well and really would help you get started so now I'm going to move on to the knobs 
Um, <clears throat> so the mute button mutes, no surprises there. When it's uh, muted, it starts flashing. So I'm going to show you this now. Which is pretty cool. It also uh, obviously works to show you that it is being powered. So when you take out the USB, it all gets disconnected and the, the light goes off. So that's kind of cool. Flashes at you. Um, the volume knob controls the volume of the headphones that are plugged in. So if you took some headphones and you plugged them into the bottom here, then you'll be able to hear yourself and it'll be crystal clear and you know there'll be lots of clarity and stuff, which is really, really cool. Um, <clears throat> on the back, you have the gain knob which increases how loud you are in general to the Yeti, higher gain, increases the sensitivity of the mic, which then makes you sound louder, but you also get more atmospheric sounds that get picked up. So let me just show you this. So this is now, I think that's now gonna be going down. So you shouldn't be able to hear me until I start doing this. So yeah, that will that will decrease the sensitivity. I'm not sure, I'll probably like hear this in post-production. Um, the louder it gets, the more weird fan noises that you get. Uh, feedback, etc, etc. Sorry about all the sound and stuff. There are uh, a lot of people online who do sort of feel that these are a bit tacky, but honestly I have absolutely no problem with them. They feel really, really sort of solid and really cool. So lastly what I'm going to do is I'm going to be moving on to the mic settings for recordings. Now at the moment I'm on cardioid, so now what I'm going to do is flick on to stereo. So now you should be hearing me in stereo, um, unless you just heard like a big rumple or something like that, which is just the sound of the, uh, the stand. So yeah, stereo, uh, you get a more general sort of sound and it picks up a little bit more. Um, it's not great for picking up on cardioid or anything like that. When you go into cardioid, it sounds kind of like this. So it's a lot more directional, it's a lot more, um, probably more bassy, I suppose. And then you've also got uh, omnidirectional, which picks up everything in the room. So it doesn't matter whereabouts the air is, if I continuously move it around like this, it will still pick me up. But as a result, the uh, quality will be a little bit suffering. Be a little bit suffering, I can't even English today. It will suffer just a little bit, so it will probably impair your audio quality. And then you have bi-directional. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> so you should be able to hear me from the front, but if I start moving it to the side, I'll get more distant and more tinny as I go around showing that um, the bi-direction really does work and you know obviously it picks me up really nicely so you just have me from the back there and then on the other side I'll start going more tinny and then it terminates when I get to the front. How can you tell that this is the front? It's because of the blue logo. Bam. That logo shows whereabouts the front of the mic is. Okay, so uh, final impressions on the Yay. I really like it, you know, you can obviously hear how improved my audio quality is uh, and all the stuff that you can do, but I'm really, really impressed by it. I was wondering what mic I was gonna get. Obviously this this cost me 99 pounds. It's uh, really quite expensive for what I have to spend. But having said that, it's absolutely no hassle to set up. I literally just plugged it in, it was absolutely fine. And then I just changed my audio settings as well, which is so easy to do. You know, you literally just go on there, recording, Blue Yeti microphone, absolutely no problem. Took, I don't know, maybe 30 seconds for it to get set up, and that was absolute max. So, it's a bit expensive, there's no house to set up, and it makes for a good starter. If you are serious about your audio, and you want to get started with uh, improving your audio, then this is definitely a good place to start, and I would recommend it. Obviously, it depends over time, but they do include a warranty. Oh yeah, this instruction book is also in French as well, if you happen to be French. So yeah, basically, um, if you're interested in getting the A, I'd say it's probably a really good contender. Obviously check out all the other competitors, it might not be for you, but for what I need to use it for, it is fantastic, and I would definitely recommend getting it. Cool, so thanks for watching guys, remember to uh, comment and like and all that stuff. If you found this video to be helpful, then great, you know, please do give it a thumbs up because it would really, really help me out. If you know someone that's kind of umming and ahhing about whether to get a particular microphone or anything like that, send them my video. You never know, it might help them. Okay, cool. Thanks for watching, guys. And I'll chat to you soon. Bye.